the number one reason you cannot live heavy is because you talk too much. As a man, I feel like, no, it is like, I own my own personal space wherever I go. If you don't feel the same way, then you see what side you're on. What side of the matrix are you on? Are you eating a steak? You know, the matrix tell you this steak ain't real, <laughs> but it tastes so real to you, right? You got to look, you got to step back and look at the big picture and see what reality really is. All right. So if you don't go to the gym for yourself, how are you going to get results? How are you going to get results? Being the guy who just be all over everybody and just want to talk, talk all goddamn day. Talking all day, gossiping, blabbering, flabbering. That's not masculine. It's not. It's not masculine. It's not man stuff. It's not. We're workers. We build. We destroy. All right? We build and destroy. We shut our mouths and put in the work. It doesn't come from talking. And people be talking about me. No, the, the majority of people don't understand why I don't talk in the gym. It's crazy. To me, I think it's clearly obvious. It's crazy. If I'm doing a, a 365 bench press, I can't just sit there and, yeah, you guys, yeah, yeah. I can't shake your hand while I'm bench pressing. You bump into my bar and that bar comes down to me. Think of reality. Nobody thinks of that. Everybody's brain is clouded. It is. I ain't gonna be able to monetize this video because there's a war on reality. I can't keep it real. We can't, we don't got no freedom of speech in America. You don't. You don't. They want you to think you got a little bit of freedom. We gotta watch our mouths, zip our lips. But didn't you say shutting up is the way? Yes. I speak when there's something to be spoke about. And then I put in the work. I don't do them simultaneously. You can't walk and chew gum? No, I cannot. And no, I will not. No, I won't not. I won't even attempt it. Because it's going to take away from the results of my work. All right? If I'm in the gym doing half of the weight that I should be lifting or doing half of the reps, if I'm just chilling and going, hey, my guys, uh, then I'm not going to build any muscle. I'm not going to get stronger. I don't pay a membership to not build muscle and not get stronger. I don't get on a diet to not lose fat and, and then not see my abs. People, grown men and women are haters. They are the haters. We get bashed way more. People talk about Google, they be asking me. No, they're not. You don't even know. You don't know what it's like to be in the hot seat. All right? You don't know what it's like to be in the hot seat. You don't know what it's like to wear the crown. You don't know. And I'm not talking about I'm the strongest, biggest guy in the world. I am a natural. I'm natural. I don't take the stuff that a lot of these guys that you put in a category and say, oh, you don't, you ain't nothing like him. Of course, I ain't nothing like him. I ain't doing what he's doing. You ain't nothing like me because what? You ain't doing what I'm doing. What am I doing? Work. What is the other person that I'm not? The people that's above me, most of them are taking things to make them get bigger and stronger. All right. Me, I'm doing it the hardcore, natural way just going off of tenacity and work hardness, going off of um, know-how, know how to die, know how to live, know how to da 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 I'm going off of that and that alone. That's all I got. The majority of people are going off of looking at somebody and say, that ain't nothing. <laughs> Can't even do half of it, but you want to interrupt me while I'm doing mine. Like, Stay in your lane. If all you could do is one plate on each, and I'm not dissing. I'm not dissing. And this guy, who the main guy who was in the way today, he's not a beginner. He's been going to the gym probably longer than I have. 
He just been in there talking the whole time like a Mr. Bucket. It's they like that. Yo, I'm saying, man, it, it is what it is. And I really don't think this man knows. He don't understand. He knows. He has to know. But I don't think he fully understands. He's not overweight and he cannot even do. He's not that much overweight. He can't even do a pull up. He do assisted pull ups. Why? Not, and I'm not distant. He does assisted pull ups. Why? Because every set that he does, he comes down or in between sets, he talks for a half an hour. In the gym, three, four, five hours. And this is a lot of people. So I ain't just talking about him. In the gym, three, four, five hours, but you only worked out. 20 minutes and those 20 minutes those, those 20 minutes worth of sets were warm up sets you didn't even push yourself but here I am pushing myself to the limits and beyond you want to get in the way stay in your lane it's okay it's not it's not none of my business if you don't want yours at all it's not none of my business at all if you don't want yours don't get it don't get your if you don't get it stay over there with the people who don't get it if you want to talk, it's okay. But it needs to be mutual. Stay over there and talk to the person. This, this dude, this, this particular dude, he's been in the gym for years. He's seen me for years. I've seen him for years. If you've seen somebody for years, let me ask you this question. If you have seen somebody for years and that person has been busy, that person barely have said a word to you. Why would you expect that person to talk to you every time that person's done with a set? You catching googly eyes at them. That's weird. That's weird. Why don't you tell them I have? They're not going to stop. They're not going to stop. Like I said, the first guy, he caught the drift. I had to yell and scream when I was on my warm-up. The, the set y'all see me do, that was 475. That was one rep with 475. Wasn't that hard. Shouldn't have been as hard as it was. I was trying to bump up and go to 495, then come back down for some reps. I know people are going to try to judge me and tell me how to do sets or how to do reps, or you should do more reps, you should do less weight, and this and that at this time. You ain't coaching me, man. No disrespect. I need people to watch my videos, but no disrespect at all I am die hard serious this don't go for just you this go for a lot of people this go for everybody because nobody understands this if somebody is way ahead of you somebody's way ahead of you you waited into new years you just started you are a beginner no disrespect it ain't my fault that you a beginner you waited I did it it's a lot of things like I said that's a lot of things I waited on I ain't judging. I ain't dissing when I say this. Because I used to be the same way. I was a beginner before. I was at a point where I did wait for years. So when I say this, I'm not dissing. But if you are a beginner, it does not matter. You do not have the place or the space to tell me how to do none of this. None of it. People that can't even deadlift 100 pounds, they see me deadlift... 500 pounds okay my form might be a little bit off here and there with a maximum weight of course under a maximum load your form gonna be a little bit off but he can't do half of that he don't even deadlift i seen him deadlift one time and he didn't even get 200 not dissing but not everybody understands but he can't even do 200 so why is he crowding my space when i'm trying to do five last time i checked 200 ain't even half of five Half of five is 250 at least. You couldn't even do 200. Half of, I can't, I could do double, I could do two, 250 for a million reps. I, I wouldn't even get tired. I could do that for an hour. I, I, I wouldn't even get tired. But you want to come over here and teach me? Man, no. Get out of here. Get the fuck, get, you know. Not bragging or boasting. I'm a grown 39-year-old man with a six-pack. Most people would never see a six-pack because most people don't listen. They don't listen. I tell people all the time, click the link below. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's clicking it. Nobody's listening. Nobody actually wants to get fit. I'm sorry. It is what it is, man. We're in a war of, of 
anything real, and it doesn't, and I said masculinity, but anything real, they go for men, women, and everybody. People hate when you actually do what you said you're going to do. They're cool with you talking about it. Shoot, I'm going to get in the gym. I'm going to do it. And then as soon as you start making any progress, they attack you. You first start, they go, oh, that's good. Oh, oh, you started. Oh, they see one little ab come through. <laughs> like people would know, literally, literally, people would try to feed you. People will try to feed you. If you're if you're dieting and you lost weight, people will try to feed you. Dirty the dirtiest food they could think of. And they're supposed to be on a diet because they, they talked about it with you. Yeah, we gonna go on a diet. We? <laughs> oh I, I would never do we. Nintendo we, maybe. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I would never do we. There's no us. There is no us. There is no togetherness in my book. Now, for those, this is not saying that nobody that's hearing my words right now, I am not saying that you shouldn't do this with other people. I refuse to ever work out with anybody. I'm not saying I can never get a workout with in, in with somebody. I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying. But as in being a partner, linking up, coming to the gym at a certain time, being together, doing this, I don't know. F that. F that. And I don't expect everybody to understand. Because everybody, well, you're going to need a spotter. You're going to need somebody to do this. You gonna... No, I don't. No, I'm going to stop you right there. I don't need shit. I don't need nobody. I've been doing this the whole time myself. Why the heck? Why would I need somebody? No. It's not going to happen. No. People want to jump in on your bandwagon. You got, yeah, I got people. All right, I got, I got almost a million views on YouTube, which ain't a lot because I got a 3,000 and some videos. But do you know I have people that I told when I first started my channel who did not want to watch my channel, but now that they see me, even without looking me up, they see me popping up, they see that I'm making some kind of moves, they want to jump in on a bandwagon. Oh, I can do this for you. I can, oh, hey, get, the, get out of my face before I, <laughs> get, leave me alone. I don't care who you are. Leave me alone. If you ain't want, you knew from day one, leave me alone, man. Everybody want parts. Everybody gonna want parts. I told everybody not to wait until New Year's, but they want me to get them fit now. I know, no. People that I personally know. If you're watching me on YouTube, that's cool because that's the only way I teach fitness. That's the only way. I'm never gonna be a personal trainer. People always ask me, why don't you be a personal trainer? Because I don't like people. No. I'm jokingly serious with that. I like people, don't get me wrong, but people get on my nerves. I can't, I cannot make it to where my profession and where I have to make everything, I have to live off of being in another person's face all day. No, because people get on my nerves a lot. They don't listen. They don't learn. They don't do, no, it will get on my, it will get on my nerves. Maybe it won't get on yours. We're two different people. Oh, as long as they pay me, I, I've heard everything you're going to say. I'm not going to go through the whole conglomerate of things that I will say it and you will say it and this video will be about that. No. <laughs> We're two different people. We're on two different... We live two different lives, all right? I put in work for myself. I'm like Batman. I try to avoid the crowd. The crowd is poisonous to what I'm trying to do, man. And like people say, just ignore people and just lift it anyways. Do you lift the what? Do you lift that? No. You ignore them and lift anyways. You're gonna lift with the most terrible form in the world, and you're going to break your back. If you just bench press, like it's, these, this, this is not lightweight. This, uh, these are weights, all right. You have to be ready to lift them. You have to focus. You have to stay ready. When people are getting in the way, it's taken away from your focus, then you got to get back ready. A lot of times that focus is not going to come back. If you need, if you, if this is the bar right here, and you need, if you got enough, enough weight on there to where you have to put all of your focus in there, they'll let you get ready. But as soon as you go to grab the bar, hey, and it's impossible. When you got all this focus, it's impossible to block that person out. Yeah, I got to work on that. I was at that point where I could at a time, but uh, I got to get back to that. It takes work. 
That's the part nobody understands. People think they're you know, just magically delicious. No, mother... Yo, what the heck? We'll talk about Andrew Tate, right? Um, I'm 85% sure in my mind that he's not guilty, him or his brother. I don't think so. Um, I really do think they want to shut that man up. I really do think they want to shut that man up. They don't want us to. They don't want us to have our manhood. They don't want us to have that. They don't want men to be men. Women don't even want men to be men. They think they don't. But like he said, like a lot of people say, he a lot of things that he's saying right now. Um, this shows how where the mindset of people are when it comes to the internet. A lot of things he's been saying right now are things you already heard. Like, okay, people don't want people to be manly, but, you know, we're the first people that people will call on if something happens. Do you know what I'm saying? We're the first people that people call on when something happens, but they don't want us to have a voice. They don't want us to have thoughts. They don't want us to have a opinion. They don't want us to say nothing. Every time we open our mouths, it's offensive. Every time, if I say I'm 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 successful at, at doing what I do, it's offending people. Oh, you can't say that because I feel bad when you say that. You know what? Never mind. Nobody hears me. Nobody listens to me. I'm just some guy, less than five thousand, well, a little over five thousand subs, um, a million views. Um, <laughs> Got to post a million times to get 10 views. Uh, yeah, man. Oh, what else? What else? Then done everything that everybody goes. All right. I lost 130 pounds, kept the weight off. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, I said it yesterday, but I'm still in that dilemma stage. All right. For those who know lifting and weight gain and weight loss, both and cut and things like that. Um, if you really know, not, not if you think you know, right? Um, if you really know, then you know the dilemma stage when it comes from uh, making a decision. I'm ripped, shredded, right? So it's kind of hard to go from that to start bulking again because I, I know I'm going to lose my abs a little bit. doesn't matter how many crunches I do. You can just do a whole bunch of crunches. Stop teaching me. <laughs> stop, stop teaching me, man. Oh, my gosh. Um, but, uh, it doesn't matter. You can't out train a bad diet. So don't bulk that hard. Uh, for one, uh, yeah, it's easier said than done. Um, I can do it. Um, I got self-control. I got willpower way more than the average person, way more than anybody that's hearing my voice right now. No disrespect. I'm just saying this is discipline. This is something you have to build. This ain't nothing that just happens overnight. You're not going to be a fitness expert just as soon as you start working out. Yeah, your confidence could be super high, your pride in this. Put that aside and look at reality. I'm offended. Oh, F you, Rebbins, are everywhere. <laughs> you don't talk to me like that. If I talk to you like what? What do I say? See what I'm saying? But to go from cutting and being ripped and shredded to go ahead and bulk, even though I'm going to gain a little bit of body fat with hopefully some muscle and definitely guaranteed strength. People say, how you know that? Because I've been doing this for 10 years, so I know what the fuck I'm talking about. When you've been doing something for a long enough time, you know what you're talking about. I ain't been doing this for no 10 days, or what is it, the 5th, 6th? I don't even know what today is. Most people have only been doing this for a couple days. But I did it before, and you failed. But I did it Yo, man, it just, it's crazy, man. So, going for to bulking is kind of a hard decision, even though I know the benefits, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to bulk for a long time, but I'm not going to, you know, control myself that much because I want to eat. So at the end of the day, I want to eat, I want to see fast games, this and that and third, but I'm not going to do it for a long time because I want to be ripped during the summer. So I'm only going to bulk maybe from January, throughout January, throughout February, and maybe throughout March, probably mid March. That way, I got March, April, May, June. So if I'm cutting for about three months, I don't want to make it to where I have to cut for a year or nothing like that. No, the summer's coming, so 
I mean, that summer ain't even here. It ain't even close to spring. Ain't even here. So, no, you got to plan ahead. If you want to be ripped by a certain date, you got to plan ahead. A lot of people make the mistake, like they just made the mistake of, of, of wanting to uh, wait until New Year's. Well, I said, stop doing that. That don't make no sense. Just start now. You would have started. When I said start it, you'd have been done right now. So, I'm done and about to start bulking while everybody else trying to lose weight. <laughs> I've been done. I can stay done. I can just start showing off on people. I don't want to do that, though, because I got, I got goals, man. I got weightlifting goals, and bulking is going to help them tremendously. All right? So, what I'm trying to say is this. Hold up. I want to get away from these bitches. Oh, oh. Mind your business. All right? So... What I'm trying to say is this, man. I could have stayed in bed. That workout was not worth it, man. I got to go to work. People don't care about your time. People don't give a fuck about your goddamn time, man. Um, never mind. Okay, so if... I can't even think. If, um, if I bulk for just a few months, I'm not going to get that fat. Basically. That way... If I can cut for three months, I can take my time. And I can cut and I can still gain strength and muscle during that cut. You know what I'm saying? Why don't you just main gain? I don't want to do that. I want freedom. I want to kind of intuitively eat. So I want to... I'm not going to dirty bulk. I'm not really going to lean bulk. I'm going to just eat. Eat and lift. Just eat and lift. You know what I'm saying? Eat and lift. Probably not even going to count my calories. No, yes, I'm going to loosely count my calories. That way... Um, or either that or just count my, I don't know. I'm going to loosely count my calories so I can stay kind of on track. That way when I start dieting, I know exactly or ballpark close to where I need to start it. Or I might just go ahead and uh, do it the route that I use to uh, find your ballpark maintenance calories, um, which is take yourself through yesterday and eat a little bit less than that. And da -da -da -da. It works. I don't care what nobody say. Everybody gonna say that that don't work. I know, I know what everybody gonna say. That don't work. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Results don't lie. But you said, I know what I said. It's a lot of people that do have results that lie anyways. Um, but those people are usually multi-millionaires and those people have a billion subs and they have reasons. Well, I'm not saying I don't have a reason to lie. I got a reason to lie. I can lie to blow up. I get it. Yeah, I could. I could. But I won't do that. If, if I wanted to do that, I would have been done that. I mean, I've seen plenty of people during my... Um, what, three, four years on YouTube? About four years. I've seen plenty of people blow way past me, telling people that you can get abs in two weeks, telling people that you can mix this with that and then it magically makes your weight loss overnight, this and that and a third. Now, if I wanted to do that, do you know I can do that? Do you know I've seen these people? I could, I could just copy what they said. And I could have billions of views right now. Why don't you do that? You should. I would. You think it haven't been tempting? It has, but I'm a real guy, man. At the end of the day, I want longevity. Those people don't last, all right? I don't know. Do they last? I don't know. I don't care if they last. That ain't even the point. That ain't even the point. The point is, I ain't here for that. Just like when I come to the gym, I'm not here for that. Comment, like, subscribe, share. Holler back at your boy. I'm tired of making videos like this. This is stupid. I mean, but you do learn from it, I guess. You know, you learn what not to do. You learn a little bit what to do and a little bit what not to do. I think that's the perfect storm. But for me, that's that's good for you that I go through this. But it's horrible for me. Because I'm not supposed to be stuck at no 500 on deadlift. I'm supposed to be at like six something now. While lean, just think about it. If I could do this while being lean, just imagine if I gain a few pounds. Mass moves mass, you know. 
There's a lot to learn. You, if you don't know, you got to understand. Every time I say something that you don't know, that's just proving to yourself that you need to listen to what I'm saying. Watch the other videos. 